<laughs> good morning, good Saturday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty 78609 in Central Texas, USA, and I'm going to the comments now. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? In Lano, it's currently 36 degrees. A little airish, a little airish. But anyway, good morning to you guys. It's still a, I'm still in my 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe, and I got their static in there, and every time I try to comb my hair, it just sticks, see how it just sticks straight up? I don't care. You can wet it and it'll stay down, but I ain't got any water right now. But anyway, enough said. <clears throat> still in my uh, Casita. Hopefully I'll hear something today on the, the Thar four winds uh hopefully it's in texas and i can go pick it up next week uh, you know that's the plan isn't it but anyway today is the first day of the rest of your life make it a good one it's the day after yesterday the day before tomorrow it is right now and you're in charge of it so make it a good one hey google what's the temperature in bangor maine in bangor right now it's 36 degrees well, the There's high, currently a winter storm warning in effect. Well, yeah, it shows a high of 39, 100% chance of rain. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 9 degrees. With a high of 44. Boy, that's a big change. Zero chance of rain, though. Maybe we're getting some warmer weather coming from the north. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? In Fairbanks right now, it's minus 6 degrees. Well, it ain't coming from the north. Anyway, it's minus 6 right now with a low of minus 19 and a 10% chance of ice, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, these are my buddies back here. That's Trenton Clump. That's Matilda the trash can. I got her. That's her baby picture. She's full grown right over here. That's her right there. You've seen her a hundred times. Anyway. Uh, also, oh, those are bananas, that's uh, Bojangles and Popeye and olive oil and stuff. But anyway, and that's uh, olive oil's bras and a smiling face and a sticker that says life is better than a casita and it's fixed to be better than a class C. Also, somebody sent me this yesterday. This is, uh, this is Thor, the bobblehead. You know, this is Thor, the god of lightning. That's what Thor was or is. And uh, so... He's actually the god of the sky. I don't know where I can put, I don't have a place to put him back there. You can see it's a little crowded, <clears throat> but we'll work it out. <clears throat> but anyway, long time, full time RV, or now let's get some comments, Rusty. Have you got any? Uh, yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty, guys. We got about, oh, we got about 300 and something. <laughs> we get a lot of comments. We have a lot of opinionated people, huh? Which is good. Okay, let's see what we got. Got several comments on the Beer 30 stuff. I'm getting older. Al Fur, thumbs up to you. Jo Rob Talon says, George Burns once told Johnny Carson that he liked to take two young women to bed as often as possible so that they can keep each other company when he falls asleep. <clears throat> no, I hear that. Sadie Rayburn. I turned 80 on November the 16th. I praise God my brother died when he was 56 years old. If not everyone lives to the ripe old age as we live, as we have. Well, that's true, Sadie. <clears throat> Good luck. This is MG Car 61 Camaro. Thanks for the inspirational speech on aging. I'm 60 soon and taking notes. I love these. Been there, done that. Lessons you give us. Well, yeah, because you won't learn it anywhere else. <laughs> there's no, well, there's books you can read, but they're not going to give you all the, well, never mind, they may. Billy K, amen, Rusty, amen. Thank you, Billy K. DB, got another five. All right. Thank you. Spiderhead, the neat thing about getting old, I'm 70, is we realize we know nothing. That's from the philosopher Socrates. When younger, we imagined we knew everything and were quick to tell you so. Quick to tell you so. We were loud. Yeah, we, we uh, uh, he's got a long comment here, but I'll read more with another sentence. We realize there are no experts in any field. We also know, that's as we get older, <clears throat> we also know we do not, do not any longer think very well or very clearly, but some fo old folks do think more deeply. Uh, yeah, it says old men should just be quiet and smile a lot. Uh, we live 
the joke and recognize it for what it is, for what it was. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, li you make life a joke. It, it, it's kind of funny to me sometimes. <clears throat> well, it's particularly funny when I do something stupid, which is a lot. Sarah J., thank you, Spiderhead. Sarah J., I am so glad the happy male and characters are behind you. Love your towels with many uses and your Thor. Thank you, Sarah J. Beer 30, Will Hunt. Funny today, I was telling a friend how your parts slowly wear out. You're doing the right stuff. You could date the rich widow when you're the last one standing, LOL. <clears throat> no, I don't think I'd do that. But thanks for the comment. Patricia Collins, thank you for this video. Enjoyed it. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad somebody did. This is James Jackson. Uh, Rusty, do, do, do you why... Do you ha do you why have more age spots on the left side of your face? Do you know why? I don't know. I don't because of the sunshine on the left side of your face while driving. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably true. Yeah, that's probably it. Charles Harris, thank you. Uh, Charles Harris says, "Old hobos." When I was a kid, an uncle of mine in Fort Worth told me the origins of the word hobo. He said they were originally migrant workers who carried their belongings in a scarf tied to the hoe they carried. They were called ho boys, hobos. Yeah, th th yeah, that's probably true. Thank you, Charles. And uh, you know, in uh, in Australia, you know, when somebody's like Waltz and Matilda, that's a, that's kind of a bum carrying his bag. You know what I mean? A hobo. Ashley nine five one two six. I hate the fact that you spend Thanksgiving by yourself. I, don't bother me, Ashley. <clears throat> Actually, I'm never alone. I got these guys, and I got me, myself, and I. Bruce Johnson, hey, Rusty, ever had an IPA beer? I don't think so. It has twice the alcohol, but tastes twice as bad. Uh, I, I keep with a low alcohol beer. I'm fine with what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you, though. Gene Rodriguez, hi, Rusty, enjoyed this video. Agree with you 100%, but at the same time, you crack, crack me up. Thanks for the laughs. Needed that. You have yourself a nice weekend. Well, good. I hope, I'm glad I put a smile on your face. Google's restarting. <clears throat> does that every morning. Lori Van Hoosier, that's because I turn it off at night. Normally it would be done around midnight, but I turn it off. I say I don't, I don't turn it off, I just, it's not connected to the internet. Because sometimes during the night, uh, it'll, it'll say, it'll start answering a question, you know. Uh, Lori Van Hoosier, you're very welcome, Rusty. Those, oh, they are dish towels, probably too small for trike man's capes, LOL. Okay, so they are, I, th those are, or dish towels. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate the kindness. You have a good day and a good weekend. TGIF, Rusty, thank you for the beer 30. I appreciate your thoughts and advice. I am skeptical about washing your hair with seven dust. <clears throat> anyway, good luck to Levi. I hope y'all realize I was just joking. I do not really wash my hair with seven dust. I was just, that was a joke. Anyway, uh, yeah, good luck to Levi's right. Yeah, I think he's on the road now. He should be uh, home sometime this weekend, I hope. Yeah, he's going to get him a puppy, he told me. Anyway, uh, Brian Barbie. Wow, 91 comments as I check in at 1026 p.m. and 2344 views. I'm fairly new subscriber, but may be the best Beer 30 ever, especially pertinent and timely for me, turning 69 Sunday. Rusty, for your information, Lano Football one tonight and a nail biter. I think they have one more game they need to win to be this in the state championship game. Not a, absolutely certain about that. Yeah, I couldn't find out. I went on the internet to see how many more games they had. I couldn't find out. It's really, it told me everything but what I wanted to know. <clears throat> well, thank you for that information, uh, Brian Barbie, and, and go Yellow Jackets. <laughs> yeah, that's right here in Lano, Texas. Yeah, I think they played Lago Vista last night. Jim Christensen, for sure, Rusty. When I was a young lad, I could talk one up. Hell, now I can't even holler one up. <laughs> My Venus Healer, you're all right, Rusty. Enjoyed the video, good. Uh, a lot of comments on Beer 30. Mary Jo Braun, I remember some years back, my mother-in-law said, getting old ain't for sissy. She sure was right. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's pretty easy stuff, actually. I mean, what you have to have, in my opinion, to make it a lot easier, you have to have, you have to be a real, realistic, and you have to have a sense of humor, because you're going to do some dumb things. <clears throat> 
Tom Fowler, totally agree, Rusty. I'm happier in my 60s than in my 30s. I lived a life of stress, so I'm glad I'm living, I'm RVing solo, living on SS and Army retirement. Thanks for the info. Enjoy your weekend, my friend. You too, Tom. Stay warm. Joe M., when I turned 60, I was reminded that downhill goes real fast. Well, it, it, it does seem like time gets by a lot quicker. I mean, a, a month like that. <clears throat> You know, I don't know why that is. I guess, I don't know. I can't, I mean, there's a some logic behind that, but I'm not sure what it is. This is, uh, this is on a, a alert I did about a fake scam thing on, uh, from Amazon. Blair Thundy, I just got that email too. It took me to a YouTube video and I did not open it. I believe if you open it, it will put a virus on your computer or steal your information. Thank you for uploading this. Yeah, whenever I run across something uh, on the internet that I think is a scam, uh, if I try to report it and I can't, well, then I'll post a video. Because <clears throat> sometimes it'll say, you know, to report this, you know, you go to Amazon, blah, 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 and you go there and there's nothing there. You know, Beth Ann Smith, for me, after the first Frost Beer 30 turns to wine time. Cheers. Good for you, Beth Ann. I drink a little wine, too. I drink red wine. Uh, uh, Cabernet. Uh, Dan Frenzel. My father got his driver's license renewed at 98. He's good to 102 now. Well, I hope that's true with me. I, I hope that uh, as long as I feel safe, I'll drive. But when I reach the point I don't, I, I will. I'll shut it down. I'll figure out something else. I'll move somewhere where I can ride my trike. Little Kittle, the G-O-A-T towel. Oh, you're the greatest of all time. Okay, 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 okay. Greatest of all time. All right, thank you very much, uh, Little Kittle. That explains that. Steve Engelbrecht. Toward the end of my grandfather's life, he told me more than once, boy, once a man, twice a child, and he was right. <clears throat> no, you're right about that. Mark East, thank you. J.J. J. J. Johnson, I guess. Very wise, Rusty. I'm trying to, to live the most simple life I can every single day. I don't need a bunch of bills and crap to pay off, just my freedom and a calm mind. I'm only 24 and still have a long way to go. Cheers. <clears throat> but if you're starting off with that attitude, JJ, you're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Harlow H., good advice. Thanks. Thank you, Harlow. Kim W., do, ex do excited for you, Rusty. We love your positivity and sense of humor. Yeah, I think she meant we are excited for you. Thank you, Kim W., <clears throat> uh, Gregory Adkins, I know this is irrelevant to, to age, but at least you have all your hair. Well, it, it, there's not a lot of hair up there. <clears throat> it looks like a lot after I wash it and it fluffs up, <clears throat> but it ain't. <clears throat> but it's okay. It's mine and it's all I got. Uh, Rachel T24, uh, great video, Rusty. Ha ha, that was fun. You are correct about trying to eat healthy on most days. I feel much better when I eat fruits and vegetables <clears throat> instead of processed stuff. As the saying goes, you can't exercise your way out of a bad diet. That is very true, Rachel. Yeah, if you have a bad diet, the exercise is going to be missed. <clears throat> Levi Brewer says, Miss Beer 30, my sister came by now. I'm here. Uh, well, I didn't do a live video yesterday, Levi. I just did a regular video. But good luck to you, man. Enjoy your trip and uh, keep your health, and I hope you find a puppy that works out for you. Samuel Fink. Rusty, I'm 52, and I tell all the younger guys who work with me that when their up-close vision, vision starts failing, it's the beginning of the end. It slowly works its way down your body, and all those things that work without thought will fail you. You, you, you either laugh about it or cry, as my mom always told me. Well, <clears throat> when we're born, it's the beginning of the end. Okay, that's the way it works. You know, we're born dying. Anyway, uh, T Tony Venata. In other words, I mean, whenever you're born, the clock starts to run, and you've only got so long, you know. Tony Venata, good afternoon, America. Tom Wilson, thank you, Tom. Tony, rather. 
Tom Wilson, I'm 74 now. I ate about half what I used to, getting slower, more easy going. It takes me all day to do what I did all day. No, I understand that. But yeah, as far as uh, uh, appetite and stuff, you do have to adjust that. And, and it's hard to do because old habits are hard to break. You know, you used to fill up your plate and eat it all and never gain any weight or, you know, that was fine. But, you know, you're burning one fifth the calories that you burned when you were 40, 50, uh, 40 or 50 years old. So you need to kind of cut back you know like right now I ate a slice of pizza that's about this wide you know maybe this long and this wide just a little piece and that's a, that's a full deal meal Tony Venata good afternoon America thank you Tony I've uh, already read that get down here boy Rondolin 134 hello Rondolin boss you are almost hitting 50k I remember when you were in your teens you rock you're gonna get so famous I'll have to come get your autograph proud of you I'm with you all the way yeah, well, it slowed down. I used to get, you know, six, eight hundred subscribers a month, and now I'm down to about a hundred, hundred and fifty, uh, because you know it's, you know, it. I don't do a lot of uh, appealing stuff. You know that that was a pretty narrow audience about getting older. You know what I mean? You know, there's not many teens watching. The, the the ones that get the millions of views are appealing to the people in their twenties and thirties and or eight or the teens, twenties and thirties. But anyway, thank you, Rondlin. William Bingham, that's why they describe this period of life as the golden years. The gold has left the bank and fallen out of your baggy pants, and we can't remember whether it's Niagara or Viagra. Actually, thanks for a little bit of reality for the years ahead. This is from a 70-year-old who knows of what you speak. Just ordered my first e-bike bike to complement my hardtail mountain bike. Have fun in the sea the other mr bill yeah thank you william bingham uh roger mcnutt rusty would you tell how old you are i'm 77 year old man been watching you for some time i'm sure i've mentioned it many times i'm 75. <clears throat> templar patriot very honest video loved listening to you thank you templar uh this is mary rosenstein and it looks like she's got a long comment i'll read the first couple of sentences Hi, Rusty. Everything's good. I'm always trying to fight these negative thought patterns underlying in the subconscious. I find the more I change my lane, metaphorically speaking, and stay the course to nature and more calm environments, the thoughts improve and become more positive and healthy. Uh, anyway, well, yeah, the, the, it's hard to do, you know, it, uh, it, but you need to, sometimes you just have to work at being positive, that's all. Anyway, we'll do three or four more here and we'll shut her down. Gary Russell, best one yet. Thank you, Gary. Taz Mod, Great Beer 30. Goat, goat. Got the goat here, guys. <laughs> There's the goat. Get your good morning kiss. <laughs> Thank you, Taz Mod. Linda Hardy, Rusty at 72. I can relate to everything you're talking about, especially waning patience. But as long as I'm in good enough shape physically and mentally, I will keep going because I still have dreams to fulfill. Living with some aches and pains sure as hell beats the alternative. Yeah, that's true. You know, the, the, well, actually, if you look at it like this, it's the eternal nap, you know, the eternal rest. You know, uh, that's, that's a good way to look at it. Deb Bushman, great video. This older couple needed a little laughter. Well, good, Deb. I hope you got some. Uh, Dan Young's fantastic video. We laughed so hard. Great insight. Well, thank you, Dan. I'm glad somebody. I, I wanted to put. I hope there. Was, I wanted to add a little humor. Uh, we'll do three more here, and we'll crank it down. Uh, four more. Tasmod. I have a couple of friends that are 90 and keep trucking on. The rest of the coffee group are in their 80s, and I am the youngest at 73. You know, speaking of coffee, uh, I may add that to my life. You know, like a cup of coffee in the morning. Uh, at, and, and then a cup of green tea in the afternoon. Because there are some, uh, if you don't drink more than three or four cups of coffee a day, there are some uh, health benefits from the coffee bean. Uh, it, it's when you start drinking six or eight cups a day that you can, the caffeine can cause you some health issues. But uh, yeah, coffee, I may look into that. James Richardson, looking forward to the videos. Thank you. Vabasser one thumbs up. Uh, let's see what we got here. Tasmod, I'm having low sugar cranberry juice for your beer 30. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, Jason Fromey, 
Great video, Rusty. You're the man. And then one more here, Mark Bihack. If you eventually slow down or start to have issues with balance and have to take a shorter, take shorter and shorter walks, take a look at a product called A Linker. It's sort of a sit down. It's it's sort of a sit down at standing height sports walker. Okay, well, thank you. You guys that need walkers and stuff, check out A Linker. It's one word, A L I N K E R. Thank you, Mark. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, hey Google, tell us a joke. What's a pig's favorite karate move? A pork chop. <laughs> Write that one down, guys. I love the pig sound there. Uh, after... This is what pigs sound like. <laughs> I tell you, boy. Just let me get smart. Uh, a, a French guy accidentally caused the gas rain in his kitchen to... Ex oh, that, never mind. I already read that one. Uh... It says, after the christening, his baby brother in church, Johnny, sobbed all the way home in the back seat of the car. His father asked him over and over what was wrong. Finally, the boy said, the preacher said he, was, said he wanted us to be brought up in a Christian home. But I want to stay with you guys. <laughs> Very good. And with that in mind, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you intended to buy. And what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And the only way to really lose weight, guys, is as you know, eat less. It, that's it. You can't run 55,000 miles a day. So anyway, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is. Yeah, do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which are all of your thoughts. Everything in there is neural links and neurons and stuff. So, having said that, add good ingredients. Use your titanium cranium to keep out the negativity. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, don't watch the news, don't watch the news, don't watch the news, read it. I found a, a source you might like. I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> oh, it's called Morning Brew. Yeah, do a Google search for Morning Brew. You may like the news that way, okay? Yeah, just check it out. Softball stuff. Oh, it's the news, but it's softball. Anyway, what else? Uh, yeah, so at ease, adios, bye bye. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. Hasta luego, vaya con Dios, uh, aloha. Until next time, do I have a video planned for noon? No, nothing, blank. Hopefully, I'll get a call from the people in El Varedo, Texas that my RV is there. It may be there now, it's just that they have so many they may not have seen it, it's probably there, you know what I mean? But anyway guys, adios, enjoy your day, bye bye.